Richard Wagner, 1813-1883. Wagner is among a very few composers in music history who have impacted contemporary art and the art of future generations. The art of philosophy, poetry, painting, and playwriting. He designed and built his own opera house in Bayreuth, Germany, where his dramas are exclusively performed. He was a vivid German nationalist, selfish, arrogant, ruthless, and with absolute conviction about his place in history. Wagner was born in Leipzig into an artistic family. His stepfather was an actor. His two sisters were actresses and another one was an opera singer. Wagner was a boy, as a boy, wanted to become a poet and playwright. But when he was 15, he was overwhelmed by the power of Beethoven's music and he decided to become a composer. He started studying scores all by himself. He never had an ambition or desire to master any instrument, but he did get three years of formal training in music theory. At age of 17, he enrolled at Leipzig, uh, Leipzig University, where he was more interested in student life and pleasures than in studying. Drinking and gambling became a pattern that continued throughout his life. He shamelessly lived off other people and accumulated enormous debts that he never paid back. In his early 20s, Wagner conducted in small German theaters, wrote several operas, and married Mina Planner, a beautiful actress. A loving couple wanted to go um, to go and try their luck in Paris, but because of Wagner's death, his passport was denied. So they decided to go there illegally. Their two years in Paris were miserable. In 1842, Wagner's return to Germany to supervise the production of his opera Rienzi at the Dresden Opera. The premiere turned out to be very successful and Wagner was offered a position as a conductor. It was a prominent and well-paid position. He spent six years there becoming famous, both as an opera composer as well as a conductor. In 1848, in Europe, a number of revolutions took place. But nevertheless, Wagner's life in Dresden became increasingly difficult because of his accumulated debts. He owed more than 10 times his annual salary. He hoped that after the revolutions, the new society would forgive all his debts. Wagner participated in the insurrection in Dresden, where he incited disobedience among the king's soldiers. When a warrant was issued for his arrest, Wagner fled to Switzerland. For several years, he did not compose, but focused mainly on writing about his theories of art, opera, and drama. He completed the librettos to The Ring des Nibelungen, which is a set of four operas based on Nordic mythology. This cycle occupied Wagner for a quarter of a century. He believed in his greatness so much 
that he was able to compose one opera after another without any perspective of their performers, performance. His first opera in the cycle, Das Rheingold, had to wait for 15 years before its premiere. The next operas from the Ring of Nibelung cycle are Die Valkyrie, Siegfried, and Güterdämmerung. By the early 1860s, Wagner was again in a difficult financial situation. But in 1864, to his rescue came King Ludwig of Bavaria, an 18-year-old fanatical Wagnerian fan who was determined to save Wagner and produce his operas to, and to present the complete ring cycle at the Munich Opera. Also thanks to King Ludwig of Bavaria and contributors from Wagner's clubs, which had been formed all over Germany, Wagner's festival theater was constructed in Bayreuth, a small town in Bavaria. The premiere of the Ring Cycle in 1876 was probably the most important musical event of the century. 60 newspaper representatives came from all over the world to witness the premiere. After that, Wagner was acclaimed the greatest composer of his time. Also worth noticing is that Wagner was Hitler's hero. Besides the Ring Cycle, Wagner composed few other operas, Tristan und Isolde, Tannhäuser, the Meistersinger for Nuremberg, and Parsifal. Wagner wrote his own librettos. His characters are larger than life, heroes, gods, demigods. He called his operas dramas to emphasize the close relationship between music and drama. He envisioned music drama as a universal artwork, Gesamtkunstwerk in German. It meant that all the arts, including music, drama, dance, and painting, are all fused together. In Wagner's dramas, there is no distinction between recitatives, arias, or any ensembles. In each act, there is a continuation of music where his characters exalt, lament, or relate to what has happened to them. The vocal line follows the rhythm of the German language. Wagner shifted the focus from the voice to the orchestra. The colorful orchestration expresses the drama. He, treated, he treats the orchestra symphonically, developing, transforming, and interwining musical ideas. The orchestral interludes often depict the scenic effects such as floods, sunrises, and flames. Wagner's or orchestra often contains more than 100 musicians. That requires very powerful voices to be able to cut through the orchestration. This is why there is a group of singers who specialize in Wagner's music. They are called Wagnerian sing singers. A new element that Wagner brought into his dramas is called a leitmotiv. A leitmotiv is a short musical idea associated with a person, an object, or thought in the drama. 
When the text refers to Siegfried, for example, his light motif is usually heard in the orchestra. Wagner often presents light motif in the vocal line. We can also hear two light motifs clashing one against another, or light motif against chromatic and dissonant harmonies. Wagner creates motion and color through rapid shifts from one key to another and through many chromatic chords in each key. While listening, we may be expecting the resolution, but instead he throws us another dissonance. Wagner's chromatic harmonies ultimately led to the breakdown of tonality and to the new musical language of the 20th century. And now let's listen to Valkyrie. Uh, the excerpt, of course. Um, and let's, let's listen for the continuous musical flow, the powerful and colorful orchestra, and the vocal lines that range from speech-like to highly melodic. Notice the light motifs Valhalla, Votan's castle, sword, love, and spring in the orchestra and voices. <laughs> 